Hey there, Stampers and Crafters, and welcome to our Tuesday online class and part of Stamp Up Palooza, Paper Pumpkin Palooza today. Um, Linda was just showing us her awesome alternate project for the Paper Pumpkin December kit, which was Flora and hey Flutter. Hey there, Stampers and Crafters, and welcome Sorry to about our the sound. <laughs> And I will be doing, uh, as well, another paper pumpkin card to keep you inspired with all kinds of projects that you can use your paper pumpkin kits for. Um, if you're not familiar with a paper pumpkin kit, I'm going to give you a little bit of um, scoop on what it is. And I'm also going to show you our giveaways for today at the same time. So every month, um, Stampin' Up! has what's called a paper pumpkin kit. It comes out once a month, and you can subscribe to it automatically. You get these um, right in your mailbox. They are $19.95 unless you're a demonstrator, and then you get a discount on top of that every month. And they're awesome. They're card crafting kits. They contain everything you need to create a project. Um, and they're a surprise every month. They're so much fun. I always open up the box and, and stamp them when I as soon as I get them, if possible. And I always like to make alternate projects with the kit to show you something different. So this is um, the Flora and Flutter kit that came in December. If you didn't get this kit, you can still get refills in my online store. I'm going to show you how in a second. Um, I do have a couple of kits um, left. If you haven't gotten one and want the full kit with the stamp set, you can email me. If you're if you're real quick, you might get one of the two that I have left. And um, you can. I also have some alternate suggestions. If you don't have the either, if you didn't get the the refill, if they sell out and you want to make something similar, I put some alternate suggestions on my blog too that you can try. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, talk about these giveaways, and then I'll show you how you can get the refill kit. Um, the giveaways are the December kit that I'm going to be using today. I opened it live a couple of weeks ago here. It was awesome, and it is an amazing kit, very fun. I have three to give away, two live, and they come with swag. <laughs> I got a little swag bag. Um, if you win one of the lives, which I will draw at the end of this broadcast, you're going to get one of these awesome little reusable tote bags with your December kit. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment right here on this live uh, broadcast. If you are watching the after live or if you didn't win one of the lives, you still have a chance to win and you enter the same way. So simply just leave a comment here. And if you're watching the after live, you have a, uh, a second chance to win. And that's what I call the shared with a D there. If you share this broadcast on your Facebook page and type the word shared in the comments, I will enter you a second time. I will also be uploading the replay of this video on YouTube, so my YouTubers out there who aren't on Facebook can also get the great idea and the fun techniques and, and, and join in the fun. And you can also enter on YouTube the same exact way for this After Live. I will be drawing the winner of the After Live on, and I, I, I meant to write it down, it's going to be on January 23rd. So um, January 23rd, I'll draw the winner. I announce that on my stampwithtammy.com blog and the newsletter, and I also will put it right here in the comments and tag you if Facebook, if your Facebook lets me tag you. So that's the goodies we have. Be sure to leave a comment so you'll be entered to win. Um, I am going to do a quick little um, scoop here on talk about the resource page. So every time I have an online class, I, I, I post on my blog what I call the resource page. And it is everything you need to know about this project. So um, this is a little bit about the, the project that we're going to create today, this beautiful card that I absolutely love. I'm even going to show you my inspiration from it. Um, I've got some substitutions here and a, a huge note. Tomorrow, January 10th, is the deadline to subscribe and get the January kit. You have to subscribe by the 10th every month in order to get that month's kit. So if you subscribe on the 11th, you won't get Fe you won't get January, you'll get February's. Um, so that is uh, the deadline, which is tomorrow. Um, if you didn't get the December kit, you can um, get the refill right here simply by going to my resource page, which is at the link in this video's description. Or you can go to my stampwithtammy.com blog and click Paper Pumpkin Kits. And then you will get to my Paper Pumpkin um, page that has every Paper Pumpkin video that I've ever made on it and all the, all of my alternate projects. So um, that's another, and it also has links to Paper Pumpkin. So I'm just going to go back to um, today's class. So right here I have a link to the Flora and Flutter refill kit. This is the refill which has the embellishments, the, the card stock in it. It doesn't have the stamp set. So if you want the stamp set, you got to be one of the first two to email me <laughs> before I before my kits sell out. 
Um, but it, these ha have what you see here, and the, the kit refill is $8 for this month. They don't usually resell the kit. Usually it's just a refill, but sometimes they make exceptions. This month wasn't one of them, um, which is good because um, it turns out you guys really like it when you have refills because you want to be able to use them. Another really cool thing that I have on here. Um, is the specials. I'm going to talk about this paper pumpkin celebration special real quick in a second. I've got my uh, reveal where I, I taught you how to make the cards or how not to make the cards <laughs> in my case um, with the, that came in the box. So that's also on that resource page. And there's a free inspiration sheet on this resource page. You can print that out. You can follow along. I'm going to give you the benefits of this and show you some little tips on that in a second as well. And um, some close-up pictures, a little bit about the giveaway and the supplies that we use. So all of the resources are there. You don't have to remember them. You don't have to memorize everything I'm telling you because all you have to do is click on the link in the video's description. Everything's right there. And you can purchase the supplies, sign up for Paper Pumpkin, and all of that good stuff. Um, so the sale, Paper Pumpkin, um, right now, if you're not a subscriber or even if you are a subscriber or you were a subscriber in the past, now's the time to come back. Even if you're a subscriber now, you can take advantage of this. If you, instead of purchasing on the subscription that automatically comes every month, go to my online store and link it on that resource page and click three, six or 12 month um, prepaid subscription, you get a free celebration set with it. So if you're already a subscriber, this is just a bonus for you. You just It's a bonus way of getting a free stamp set. If you are not a subscriber yet, it's a great time to join because you get celebration stuff. So this is the special here. Um, the prices again are on that resource page on my blog. It is celebration time. So um, if you have Paper Pumpkin, you got your six months or three month subscription, you're all set. You can still get celebration sets by purchasing, purchasing anything in my online store. Um, $50 is uh, the minimum for every $50 you spend. You get a free stamp set, and that's a pretty cool deal. So that is celebration. Again, those details are on my blog. And um, one more really cool perk about celebration, uh, if you join right now as a demonstrator, you get two free stamp sets. You can get those paper pumpkins with a demonstrator discount. And that is great. And they count towards, you You know, the, the quota that you, you, you have if you want to stay active and continue getting your discount. Linda had, actually described this great earlier. She was talking about how she belongs to BJ's Club, which is like Sam's Club or, or um, Costco, where you pay for membership there. It's almost like that, only this is a better deal because the demo kit, it's not like you're just paying, you know, to, to do that. The demo kit itself is the most amazing. We all wish we could buy demo kits all the time. It's that great of a deal. It's awesome. And you get two free stamp sets during celebration. Okay, so that's the that's the scoop on what is happening. I love seeing you guys all on board. Welcome aboard. We were I almost had to postpone it. Um, I don't know if you guys remember last month, uh, Linda and I came down in the studio to do a stamp and scoop, and it was flooded. And oh my gosh, that was terrifying. I was like, oh my gosh, all the, the equipment, the lighting, every all the electricals and water. Well, just before I started here, I came into the studio, and, and the water's back. So I'm not quite sure. I have to research, and I, I think it's probably the same thing that's causing it. But um, I was able to get everything dried out. The water has stopped flowing, so if I have to end it quickly, that's why. <laughs> All right. So let's get into some stamping. Let's have some stamping fun. Um, I'm going to pop down here to our, um, our table. Again, leave a comment, and you are going to be entered to win some, not just the paper pumpkin, but swag, paper pumpkin swag. So we've got swag bags here. For the lives, I've got two of those to give away live. I'm just going to put those over on my table. And I've got for the after live. Oh, I didn't even I didn't pop this up to show you. For the after live, the swag is the infamous pop-up paper pumpkin trash bin. Everybody wants one of these, right? So all you need to do is leave a comment to win any of these. I'll draw two winners at the end of this episode and one on January 20. Did I say the 19th? The 19th that I was drawing the winner? Oh, my gosh. I already forgot. All right. Hold on. Hold on, let's look at that one. Oops, that's not it. There we go. The 23rd, my bad, the 23rd. So the 23rd, I'll be drawing the winner of this one. Sorry for that. Normally, I'm a little bit better prepared, but I got caught off guard with the wet, the wet studio. <laughs> All right, so I promised to give you a little bit of a scoop here. Um, with this PDF, you can download this free PDF on my blog simply by clicking on the link in this video's description. Whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, the, the link is there. It's got the, the picture of what we're going to be making today. It's got um, the measurements of all the, the paper and cardstock that we're going to be using today. It's also got a QR code here. If you've got a smartphone, you can zap that, and it will bring you right back to that resource page I was just showing you. If you don't have a smartphone or don't know how to use the QR code, you can simply type in this, or go to stampwithtammy.com and click Paper Pumpkin. 
and it also has a supply list and a place here for you to take notes if you want to follow along and don't have everything or whatever you can follow along here and write your information down and then you can go back and watch the video when you're ready to start making stuff so this is the kit that we're playing with we're going to make an alternate project i made these projects a couple weeks ago you can see that video on my blog as well um, these are the ones I made and I'd like to say that I showed you how to make these but I really showed you how not to make these <laughs> I mean I, I, I think you probably learned from my mistakes right somebody said I should just do an episode on how to recover from mistakes and I, I, I think my response was every episode I do is how to recover from mistakes um, but the, the kits also come with instructions these are also great to travel with and also great, you know, if you're hanging out somewhere for the day, like your friend's in the hospital, you're in the hospital, you're going to be hanging out there for a little while. These are great to do while you're hanging out in the waiting room. They're kind of fun and it's, you know, gives you something to do with busy work, to do with your hands because everything's kind of in there, in that kit. All right, so here's the kit I'm making. I, um, in addition to the, the paper pumpkin kit, uh, I also use the Everyday Jars here set which is the mason jar set uh, just the dies on this um to 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 create this card i had a lot of fun and i I'm, i need to give a huge shout out to my friend oxana Semenska. she is um a stamp it demonstrator and she had sent me this card a little while ago and i absolutely loved it made with this die set and the coordinating um the coordinating stamp set that goes along with that and i loved how she did the vellum here with the water in the jar and the and the flowers coming out so that was my inspiration for the flowers was her card. I, I, you know what, I, I'll take a picture of this and put it on the blog too so that you'll have that on the resource page. So you can go back and look at Oxana's card and see her um, her original. And um, so here I'm going to show you how to create this. It's really fun, it's very easy. Um, and like I said, just a few extra supplies in addition to that paper pumpkin kit makes this really cool art alternate project. So let's get, let's get to some stamping. Um, one other thing that I used here in addition to that um, it in addition to this the die set here was the wood textures designer paper if you guys are not familiar with this designer paper and you can see I've, I've gone through about four or five packs of this already I love it it's like it's like wood and it's such a great look and it's fun on so many different projects as like different you know colors of wood backgrounds and textures and it's really fun to play with on on all different levels okay so I'm gonna take these pieces here from the kit um, these were the cards that were this was the card that was originally part of the kit um, I'm gonna use I'm actually gonna use this piece as background to cut out of and we're using some vellum cardstock in addition as well now this vellum cardstock um, it's available in my online store. I, I, I play with it a lot. I love vellum. The difference, and I get asked that a lot, the difference between cardstock and um, regular vellum paper is the thickness. And that Stampin' Up's vellum cardstock was made to be stamped on. So regular vellum may not dry, um, depending on you know the, what type it is. It may not be made to actually be inked up, so it may not dry. And it, it, if you heat emboss on it, it curls. This does not. This is made to be stamped on. It's made to be craft with, crafted with. So that is one of the differences. All right. So what we're going to do is cut out these little flowers from this circle piece. And then you can use the excess paper for some other projects. I meant to bring my paper snips and I forgot. So I'm going to try to do this with my um, big <laughs> these Stampin' Up! used to sell these craft and paper scissors and I stocked up on them because I loved them so much. I hope they come back out with something like them because they are great, great scissors. All right, let's see if we can get this going here. And I just kind of carefully, whoops, or not so carefully, went around there. <laughs> as you, as, as I have it, carefully, not so carefully, whatevs, you know what I mean. <laughs> and I, I mean, I used most of these I don't know that I used all of them, but I, I did cut them out because you could use them for another project if you if you didn't end up using them. They don't have to be exact. Okay. Oops. And I'm just going to leave that guy in there for now. All right. And then from this one, I cut everything out because not only am I using the flowers in the vase, but I'm using the frame for part of the card. And the beautiful thing about this is the um, this paper pumpkin came with um, 
two of these for each card to make two of these overlays. One was uh, like a crumb cake and one was this lemon lime twist. And you could use both of them. So you could make a bunch of cards out of them, make, make a bunch of these designs out of it. Okay, so that's going to end up being our overlay. So that's going to go just like that on our card. All right, so I'm just going to put that aside because I'm going to do a little bit of cutting and I'm just going to put these aside too with the, the big shot. So I've got the big shot die cut machine and the magnetic platform. And we want to cut from this die set. We're gonna I'm gonna do quite a few little pieces from this die set. I'm gonna have some fun with it. I'm pretty much I think you can cut all of it all at once. So I'm gonna take the jar and put that on some vellum. Um let's see, what else do we want from here? I liked these little hearts. We're gonna use them and this this flower die as well okay so I'm gonna cut the hearts and the flower out of this um, this layer that would have been a layer on one of the cards we're actually going to use it for for flowers how appropriate mm -hmm. Karen says, did I just hear you say whatevs all the time? Whatevs. It's all good. Right? <laughs> She's, she says her son says that all the time. Well, I'll tell you what. I think your son and I get along quite well. <laughs> okay, so I actually want two of these little flower cutouts. So I'm going to send that through again. Now the hearts, we're going to poke those out in just a second. They're still in that little die. But I'm going to send this through the big shot one more time. So we have our big shot pieces all cut out. All right. So there is our second little piece for that die. And then you got extra here that you can use for, for making other cards. So that's our big shot work. Put that aside, put it back in here, and then I'm going to take a little paper piercer and poke out. I only need three of these, but we'll just poke them all out because you can use them for another card. I'm not sure if you can see me there. There we go. We got little heart confetti everywhere. How fun! <laughs> okay, so let's just move those to the side. Now, one other thing that we're going to do, I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper. And we are going to color. I have a little piece of vellum. I can find it there that I cut out. And this is going to be um, the water in our jar. See how our jar has some water in it? It looks like it has water in it because the vellum is see-through. See so this is the what I did. I took uh, the Marina Mist Stampin' Right marker. It's just the regular marker, not the, the alcohol blends. And I just colored that in with Marina Mist. And the reason why I did it colored it in from the vellum it was because I, I liked it to be kind of transparent it looked like water so you could see through it a little bit made for a really neat effect it takes a second to dry that vellum so I'm just gonna put that aside for a secchi well that's drying okay all right so next up we have uh, pretty much just a little bit I'm gonna trim off when that dries and actually it's not probably not quite totally dry but we're gonna do it anyways I just took the scissors and rounded the bottom of that. If you have a, um, a little corner rounder, that would work as well. Okay, so now we have assembly. It's that quick and easy, right? <laughs> I am a huge fan of quick and easy cards. That's my, you know, I, I, I like to stamp. I like things to be easy, and I like them to be awesome. That's my, my MO. All right, so... We got a little bit of the lighter wood grain up here that we're going to put in the background. And it looks like I don't have the darker one. So I'm going to cut, I got to cut one while we're sitting here because I can't find mine. So what color do you think we should use here? Let's see. We got lots. What do you guys think? Mm, let's go with this one. That one with that one. We'll go with this one today. Why not? They're all good. They'll all look good. And <sighs> never craft without a paper trimmer handy. <laughs> all right. So the 
the PDF that I showed you earlier that you can get on my blog has the measurements for this. It's four inches by one and a half. So I'm just going to trim that up. Four inches and then one and a half. The measurements are right up here. So we've got that all set. And we can go ahead and use some, I'm using snail adhesive, but you could also use the, the kit came with um, some mini glue dots. You could use those as well to attach this part. I want to go ahead and attach this to the upper panel here. And then the wood that we just cut, oh, darn it. Which side should we, I guess I already got adhesive on this side. So we're going to put the side down. <laughs> That's always sometimes the hardest part is deciding which side to use. All right. I don't think my measurements are exactly right on that piece because it looks like we got a little overhang so I'm going to trim that off a little bit and I'll try to remember to update that for you guys but if I forget that's all you got to do is trim about a quarter of an inch off of that that wood grain piece because it was a little bit too long okay Tracy says it looks like you're having a lot of fun I'm always having a lot of fun <laughs> I have the best job in the world I love what I do all right so we can go ahead and stick this frame down that goes over it and somewhere I've got a little silicone mat to, to stamp on. So this, I'm just, again, you could use your mini glue dots for this if you wanted to. I'm just taking some snail adhesive and attaching that to right over what we did. Oh, crud. You know what? That is maybe why I had my measurements up a little bit. Maybe I didn't want to trim off that bottom part. Yeah, it's still good. It's still good. It looks all right. We're going to go with it. And um, this is a banner that came in the kit. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a hair. You feel like you're too far away there? Okay. So the stamp set that came in the kit, I'm going to take the happy birthday out of it. And the kit also comes with the ink pad, the Berry Burst ink pad. The full kit does. The refills don't come with the this part, the stamp set or the ink pad. I love, and you know what? I'm saving these now. I, use, I save them to travel with when I'm stamping on the go. But now I'm saving these little ink pads because... They're going to be awesome for that Stamparatus when the Stamparatus comes out, right? I can't wait for that. All right, so we're going to stamp that to the left. And then um, we're going to take the... Actually, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut where that's going to go on the, on the card stock, on the, on the card. And then I'm going to take this. You could also do this with a sponge if you wanted to, but... The spots make it kind of nice to just do a direct to paper, a little accent with the, the color on the edge there. And then we'll go ahead and attach that with some snail adhesive right there. And that can actually go right on our card base. So we've got the whole base already put together. I wasn't joking when I said this was quick and easy. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Exactly. Deanne says she uses her little her little ink spots when she travels for work and she can make cards in her hotel room. That is a perfect, perfect thing to do with your paper pumpkin when you're hanging out in the hotel room when you're traveling. It's just something fun to do with your hands. All right, so this is going to go underneath the mason jar, our little um, water that we made by coloring the, ve the vellum. I am just using snail. I'm just going to take a strip of snail to stick across there. And just going to stick that on there. I found that it, it, it doesn't really show unless you really look at it. Adhesive does sometimes show through vellum, but on this one, it doesn't really stick out. It just, it just works here. And then we are going to take the baker's twine that came in the kit which is still in my kit here that I've been playing with. There's lots of goodies in here. Lots of good stuff. Oh, I think it's in here. What the heck did I do with it? All right. Not bad. Maybe we're not baker's twining today. <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it without the baker's twine, I guess, because I don't know where I put it. So I'm gonna stick this down with some snail. But if you had your kit handy and you had your little baker's twine on there, you would just tie that right on the lid there for a little accent on your lid. And then I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down in our what looks like to be like our little window here. And then we just need some mini glue dots, which again come in the kit. 
and if you didn't have those handy, I'm just using these because they happen to be right next to me. And we're going to take our pieces here and stick them down. Um, I cut off the bottom pieces of these leaves so that they had like a longer stem because the stem is going to stick out of the, the jar. There we go. Cindy says my baker's twine is in the box. She said she saw it just now. <laughs> That's all right. You guys get the drift. I already stuck the jar down, so we'll see what it looks like naked. Now, these leaves, I'm just going to round them up a little bit because they were kind of in, they were made to go, in, like designed to be part of the frame. So I just rounded that a little bit so it matches. And then we got our leaves. Okay. And these guys that we cut out are going to go on the background. And then I just kind of trimmed these up a little bit so that they fit in there too. So I'm just going to cut them apart a little bit. I'm going to cut that excess off of that one. So we've got, actually, maybe that piece too. I don't want it to be too busy inside the jar. So that one's going to go, I'm just kind of piecing it together on the outside before I stick it down. That one's going to go down there. And cut these guys apart. All right, so maybe one of these over here, and I have a little flower over there, and now all we need to do is stick them, stick them down. So I'm just going to take the um, the mini glue dots, I'll just move them up a little bit, and I stuck that on the stems, and like for example on the leaves here, so I'm just sticking that right to the stem, I might stick one on the leaf, because the leaf is going to stick down, so that's going to go, whoops. Underneath there. Um, no, before I stick that stem down, I want one of these guys to be underneath it. So let's put that down. There, so it looks like that stem is actually in the water. And that one's a little bit too long. There we go. That's an easy fix if it's a little bit too long. There we go. We got our little flower in the background. Now, you know what? I don't know. I'm feeling like I want a little pop because I always lo I love my dimensionals. I think I'm almost as addicted to these dimensional pop dots as I am to, to snail adhesive. <laughs> Something about these adhesives I can't get enough of. And I want one of these flowers to pop up just because. So I'm just going to stick that kind of there. And then we'll put these leaves. Oops. That does not want to stick to that. Oh, no. Oh, we got a tragedy in our leaves. That's all right. <laughs> it was tragic. <laughs> all right, and then maybe a glue dot on the, the back of that leaf, just like we did with the other one, and we'll stick that in the jar. Yeah, it wasn't that tragic. It fits just perfectly in there. And then we will put the rest of our flowers that we, we cut out there. Thank you, Shelly. says, it's looking beautiful. It is. I love it. I love it. It's such a fun card to make. I'll just make sure I'm doing this so you guys can see. Just stick in some glue dots to the back of that flower. I'll stick that in. And you know what? I don't even want the glue dot. I think I'm just using a snail on the back of that. The glue dot might be too much. So I'll stick one of those back there and our last little flower needs a little trim job. Needs a haircut. A little bit extra hanging off there. Oh, I'm glad you guys like this one. I love this card. It was so fun to make. I love these paper bumping kits. I can't wait for January's. So normally, um, January is traditionally Valentine's Day. And I did um, hear a little sneak peek that I'm, I'm pretty sure led me to believe that it's going to be a Valentine's Day kit. Just don't forget that tomorrow's the deadline to sign up for it if you want to get January's kit. Um, okay, so we've got all of our little flowers kind of lined up in there. And then the last little piece I'm going to do here is take the hearts that we cut and stick them on the frame.
And I suppose I could have used the mini glue dots for that too, but I had the snail in my hand and you know how much I love my snail. There we go. All right, and our card is complete. All done, yay! And the basement didn't flood out again, so we're good. <laughs> we're still good here, which is good. So um, this is my alternate design for the, um, look at how different they are and how beautiful they both came out. So cool using a little bit of different patterns and just lining them up a little different. Um, very fun, very fun design for the December uh, Flora and Flutter paper pumpkin kit. This is um, the kit that came last month. So we, tomorrow's the deadline and then next week we should be able to be receiving January's kit and I'll do a reveal of that too. Lots of fun. You can get more information on this on my stampatami.com blog simply by clicking on the link in this video's description and it is now time for a giveaway. So if you've left a comment here, you will be automatically entered to win. And um, I've got two of these December paper pumpkin kits along with um, some swag, along with a swag bag. So we've got a paper pumpkin kit and we've got a tote, a little reusable paper pumpkin tote bag to go with these. I'm going to pick two winners. And um, if you didn't win, you can you still have a chance to win the afterlife drawing on January 23rd. So it's still worth it, even if you're you're watching this after live. So I'm just going to click over to our prize drawing site here. Uh, make sure that we're on the right post and wait for it. <laughs> All right, where are we? All right, it's not that one. Where did we go? Oh my goodness. Okay, it's this one here. There we go. Whew. <laughs> I thought I lost it for a minute there. Okay, the first winner of our paper pumpkin kit and swag bag is Deanne Davies. Congratulations, Deanne. And our second winner is Barbara Quorum. So congratulations, Deanne and Barbara. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form at the link in the video's description. And um, don't forget, if you didn't win, you can still win the after. You still have a chance with that after live drawing. I will be off um, this Friday, so I will not be here Friday for an online class. I will be back the next Tuesday, a week from today, with Linda with the uh, Stamp and Scoop show with lots of prizes. We have a Valentine's Day theme coming for you guys and lots of fun projects. So we will see you back then. Hope you all have a, a wonderful week and a wonderful weekend. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.